The article I'm going to be discussing is the impacts of conflicts of interest in plastic surgery, an analysis of acellular dermal matrix implant-based breast reconstruction. Physician interaction with industry is important in the development of medical devices and performing clinical trials to advance our field and provide better care for our patients. However, conflicts of interest arise when professional judgment may be influenced by this relationship to industry. A couple of years ago, Grant Carlson and John Kim introduced the concept of industry influence on the results of acellular dermal matrix-assisted breast reconstruction. The authors independently found a lower incidence of complications in studies using ADM with industry affiliation compared to those without affiliation. Similarly, in this article, Lopez assembles a tour de force of co-authors to review complications in implant-based breast reconstruction with or without ADM. The authors pool complications and compare outcomes between studies that have a conflict of interest compared to those without a conflict of interest. They find surgical complications were lower in studies that had an industry affiliation compared to those without affiliation. This data was then stratified by ADM use. The authors found that surgical complications were less common in studies with conflict of interest when ADM was used. However, surgical complications were similar between the groups when ADM was not used. Therefore, the results of this study support the earlier work of Carlson and Kim in finding lower rates of reported complications in studies with complex interest. The next question then is whether the lower complication rate is due to industry seeking out surgeons with a specific skill set or industry bias in reporting outcomes. And that's a very challenging question to answer. The authors were up to the challenge and attempted to make this distinction, but there may be a couple of problems with the methodology which prevent us from revealing the full answer. The first thing I noticed that it was a very small number of studies, only 35 in 10 years. Of the 35 studies examined, the Rolani article appears to be a duplicate as it's listed twice in their table. If you look at table three, the characteristics of the study population, you see that the total number of breasts is almost three times the number of patients, which I don't think is possible. And finally, the authors did a good job in trying to control for confounding variables, but they did not control for radiation, which was a significant risk factor for complications in our paper that is included in their analysis. There was a higher incidence of radiation in our two-stage reconstructions without ADM. We therefore published a table of results excluding patients with radiation. By choosing to use our entire study group, the authors guarantee a difference in the risk factors between their groups. So I don't think we have the final answer. On a final note, we have to look at the disclosures for this very article. Two authors have industry affiliation with TEI Biosciences, which makes Surgimen. TEI may benefit from the study as it suggests some of the best results in ADM-assisted breast reconstruction may be skewed by industry bias. Therefore, when they go to publish the results from their clinical trials with Surgimen, the gold standard is essentially set lower. In summary, a very interesting and provocative article on a topic that's important to plastic surgery, and I'm sure we'll see more to come in issues of the journal.